There are four skills that I'm going to tell you about today that can build you wealth and give you freedom just from the comfort of your home and you can learn it for free if you have a laptop. And I have personal experience with all of these skills, except one of them, I'm currently still trying to build that one up. But all of these have given me money, side income, along with my nine to five, and it is truly an easy way to build wealth. So the first one here is writing. This is the one that I have the least experience with. Like, you know, I write every day, but I don't write online to make money. I'm gonna give you four examples here of people that have made it big time on the internet by just writing online. The first one is Justin Welsh. He has made $1.7 million from his solo business. And actually he tweeted recently that he has just passed 2 million with his solo business. It's just him writing. He sells two courses, one about LinkedIn and one about, uh, I think, a newsletter. And then I think he does some personal coaching, something like that. But $2 million from one person, solo business, that's amazing. The second guy on here is Kieran Drew. He actually just launched a class on writing online, also not sponsored, but he tweeted the other day that he recently passed $60,000 in three days from his course that hasn't even launched yet. It's in its pre-launch phase. $60,000 from just three days. He just tweets, has a newsletter, writes online, and he makes that kind of money. And you can see there's a lot of people that are looking, find some way to make income online. Like, of course, like this is a great way you can do it from the comfort of your home and writing is one of the best options. The last big dog on here is a guy named Dan Ko. He has a YouTube channel. He tweets, he has a newsletter. He has courses and he just released a video about making $800,000 just by online writing. And that includes YouTube, which, you know, is just him making a YouTube video, reading his script from his newsletter, from his podcast, and he shares that content throughout the web. So he just reuses all of his stuff all the time. <laughs> so he's just writing once and making money off of it over and over and over again, which is really cool, really amazing. If these numbers are too high for you to like think practically, Take a look at this lady. Her name is Eve. Eve writes on Twitter, and I've been following her for the last like six months or so. And she had just tweeted that she passed 6K on her writing business online alongside her nine to five. So she's making this kind of money through writing on Medium, Twitter, some courses, but 6K in a month. That's like life changing money. And she's still working at 95, which is crazy. So those are four people doing writing, making huge money. And of course this isn't easy. None of these four things are supposed to be easy, but they are supposed to be very accessible for anyone with a laptop. Like go and buy a Google Chromebook, or if you have a phone, you can tweet, you can write on Medium, you can write on your notes, you can share it, you can start a newsletter all from your phone. Like it's the easiest way, but the hardest thing to do is to stay consistent to learn, to grow, to get better at writing, find a niche, and then capitalize on your audience that you build, make products to sell. It's hard because it takes time. No one wants to spend the time, and all of these skills kind of fall into that trap. The next one we're gonna talk about is one that's super personal to me, which is software development. Software development, you don't have to go to a four-year university to do so like I did and spend all the money to go to school. You can go to more of a trade kind of school or an online school, pay less money, or you can go the route of just learning online for free. You can do tutorials. There's tons of tutorials doing development online and you can learn actually legit stuff and get hired. I went from about 60 to 70K to about 150K in four, five, six years. And that's a lot, like most people never make that kind of money, but you can simply do it by developing. Now a lot of developers even make way more than that, you know, 150, 200, 300K, depending on how good you are, what company you work for, AKA Google, IBM, Indeed. You can make a great money doing developing. You can do web development, you can do systems, you can do AI. AI tools. There's a lot of options for you to learn development. There's a lot of free options to learn online. And like I said, you can do it from a Google Chrome, Chromebook, whoever makes those these days. Okay, the next one on here is design. Now, I am not personally a designer, but I have learned design and graphic design the past four or five years, something like that. And I have done a lot of stuff on the side, doing graphics for my church, which some is paid and unpaid, doing YouTube thumbnails for both my channels. In my apparel company, I do all the designs for that. And now we're not super successful yet. We're still growing, still building. But nonetheless, it makes your startup costs 
zero if you know how to design. You don't have to pay someone for a thumbnail design to start a YouTube channel. You can just do it yourself and it's gonna be better than most of the other designers out there. I recently hired a couple designers to do some thumbnails and they were good, but if I want to make changes, I need to pay them to do it most of the time. If I want to try a different kind of concept, I have to pay them. If I'm doing it myself, I can try 10 different concepts and I spend zero dollars. Now it's my time, of course, but you get the point. If you are short on cash, then learn the skill. Take the time to learn the skill. If you enjoy it, learn it, and then you know you can create a business out of it, or you can apply it to other things like I do with graphic design. I apply it to you know my apparel company and my YouTube. Voila. Now there's a guy going around the internet these days who runs a company called Design Joy, makes 1.2 million a year just on his design services which is insane. And you know, there's a little bit of controversy around him. Whatever, I get it. He makes a lot of money from doing design and you can do that too. I have a couple personal friends that do design, make 100K plus a year. They do great work. They have freedom in their lives. They can work kind of when they want to work. That's something I kind of forgot to mention was that these skills do give you freedom. Like software development, I'm making this video in the middle of the day, it is two o'clock and I was just doing some programming, now making this video, and then I'll go back to programming and I can run an errand when I need to. As long as I get my work done, everyone's happy. And same thing with writing, you can write wherever you want, coffee shop, home, in your bed. Design, same thing. As long as you have a laptop, you're good to go. So a little note here, if you like entrepreneurship, self-development, building a solo business, mindset changing, some spirituality, Christianity, Jesus, hit the subscribe. I'd like to see you around, leave me a comment. Let me know which skill you like to learn and how I can help you. Oh, hit the subscribe. <laughs> All right, the last one on here is photo and video. I have editing, but I just mean shooting photos, shooting video, learning how to edit those and applying that skill to either a business or applying it to your other projects. Like I was kind of talking about with graphic design. My wife and I had a photography and videography wedding business a couple years ago before we had kids. And it was mostly her, she was doing photo, but then I got brought on to do some second shooting, do some video, and you know, we made a good amount of money. I don't know the exact amount that we made, but it was 40K-ish revenue. Profit, probably 20K-ish, which is a great amount if you're just by yourself, and we could have easily taken that and scaled it to be over 100K if we really pushed for it, but you know, kids are more important to us, so that's what we did. But nonetheless, I bought this camera. We have multiple other cameras, lenses, and I use the gear that I use for video for making these videos and my other YouTube channel. So I use those skills and I apply it to my YouTube, make money from YouTube, and that is awesome. And then I take photo editing, I use it for my apparel company as well as this. And the skills apply to multiple things that I enjoy, which is kind of, it just works out for me because I'm someone who's pretty scatterbrained, don't really know what to focus on, but have started to focus more on say this channel and my apparel brand. And so, I know that I have the skills to do those and they're only gonna get better as I focus on them more. There is a guy called Eric Floberg on YouTube who releases his money made every year. And for the last year, it was about $300,000. And he is basically a photographer and a videographer, but he applies those skills to a bunch of different areas and then has products, services in those areas and makes 300 grand a year. That's an amazing tool to use and you can make money doing it. So those are the four skills, writing, software development, design, photo, and video, five, four. <laughs> if you want to learn those skills, find someone you trust, take their courses, jump on Skillshare, and give it time to see if you're interested in it. Don't just start picking up some coding and like spend a couple days on it or a week, like spend like six months doing it and see if you can you know, find find a niche that you like or write, write for six months, design for six months, do photo for six months and see if your interest is there and if you can develop as a skill and then, you know, start creating, making money off of it. So that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Make sure you subscribe and go check out the other videos. Three years, three years to stick with something and you will be successful. I'll tell you how in this next video.